Hi guys. So I wanted to take today to talk about one of the biggest inevitable life changes that people go through. So it's called a Saturn return. It happens when someone turns around 28 to 29 years old and it's somewhat widely known. I think there tends to be many jokes made about it, just like Mercury retrograde. Um, but in general, the cliche of it is that it's a time where people have a total life crisis. They're not exactly sure what the next decade's gonna look like. They're not exactly sure if they wanna save their job anymore. They're not sure if they wanna continue their partnership with someone. So it kind of, it, it means something different for everyone, but the theme tends to be crisis um, of identity and crisis of how to move forward. So what I wanted to talk about in this video is what is a Saturn return? What does it mean astrologically? And then of course, um, the most important part would be how can you optimize your Saturn return? How can you make it less of a painful experience? So um, let's start with who Saturn is. Saturn is the great teacher. So it's the planet that rules hard learned lessons, um, areas where we need to be more diligent. Saturn kind of makes everything smaller. And whereas Jupiter, th think of it as the opposite, Jupiter expands things. So Jupiter is about luck and gifts and um, exciting new times. Saturn keeps things small so we learn um, how to prioritize and how we learn what is important and what's not important in life. So a Saturn return happens when the position of Saturn in your chart comes full circle. And so this happens again for everyone between 28 and 29 years old and it lasts for about a year or two or the effects last year or two. However, the decisions that you make during your Saturn return are supposed to set you up for the next 29 years. So it's not no small year or two, it's very important. So um, when you're going through your Saturn return, what Saturn wants you to learn is how to get rid of the stuff that doesn't matter anymore. So, you know, it makes you super aware of what you've outgrown and that's a very painful process inherently because we become very attached to parts of our identity. You know, maybe a huge part of your identity is your job and your title and your career, but Saturn's gonna tell you, ooh, that's not really fitting you anymore. You've actually outgrown that. Or sometimes it shows up in relationships where you realize, you know, I thought that I was in a very happy partnership, but there are a lot of limitations to it. There are a lot of parts of myself that I can't explore because um, there are confines in this relationship and there are um, kind of emotional roadblocks that I can't seem to get past with this other person. Or for someone, their Saturn return can be super extreme where it can be someone where, you know, many celebrities sobered up during their Saturn return. Like I think Bradley Cooper, this is not fact checked, but I believe that Bradley Cooper became sober during his Saturn return. Um, and so it can just be a time where, you know, you're just reassessing what's important to you and you're having tons of hard conversations with yourself. So I talked a bit about how to optimize for this. What I can say is that the people that do the worst during their Saturn return are people who don't like to self-reflect. So someone who spends a ton of time um, living their life externally rather than having conversations internally because the whole point of Saturn return is to start being super aware of who you're becoming, who you are, and who you used to be. So if you're someone who rarely likes to reflect on yourself, this is going to be a time where you should try and step up to the plate for that. The signs that generally do really well would be a Capricorn for the reason that, first of all, they're ruled by Saturn, so this is a very natural position for them, but they tend to be super hard workers. So when they're met with a task to, you know, switch jobs, to switch careers, or to end a relationship, they of course will be as freaked out as the next person, but they will be say, okay, this is my next hill that I need to climb. This is the next thing that I need to accomplish and get through. And so for anyone, no matter what your sign, think of it as an exercise in growth where, you know, your life's gonna look super different after your Saturn return, but you're getting rid of all the waste. You know, you're kind of like Marie Kondoing your life rather than your apartment. Um, you're getting rid of the, 
the pieces and the superficial things that no longer fit who you were, you know, because the, the point of a Saturn return is who we were at 12 years old or 13 years old doesn't fit who we are at 24 years old. So the same thing goes for where you are at 29 years old. You know, we used to have coping mechanisms and patterns of maybe constructive or self-destructive behavior. Um, and this is just a time to put all that stuff to rest and start a new era in your life. Um, and so anyways, basically, in short, this is one of the most important parts and it sets you up for the future. So um, do not shy away from it. And also the coolest thing about this is know that anyone who you're friends with who is in the same age group is going through the exact same thing. And then my other piece of advice is talk to people who are a bit older than you. So someone who's 35 has already gone through it, ask them, you know, what was your life like when you were around 29 years old? And see if they have any sage words for you. Um, I, God, God forbid, haven't gone through mine yet, so I can't speak personally, but um, regardless from what I understand from reading many charts and talking to people, this can be one of the most beneficial times in your life because you're getting rid of the stuff that no longer fits you and becoming the person that you're meant to be. So yes, it's scary. Yes, it's hard. Yes, it's terrifying. But there is so many rewards on the other side when you get to work in the way that Saturn wants you to. So um, there are many more things I can say about Saturn return, which I will get to in further videos in the future. So if you want to, you should subscribe. And if you have any questions, you can feel free to DM me on Instagram or send me an email. And that's going to be um, in the, the description in the bottom of this video. So thanks so much. And if you're going through your Saturn return, I I'm with you. I understand. And many other people are going through the same thing. So everything will work out. Thanks. Bye.